Hey guys, today I'm going to be going over the K2 breakout strategy. This strategy is applied on the one minute time frame, and what you're looking for is basically a breakout on the open of the New York Stock Exchange. Um, for the first step right here, you're going to look for an entry after New York Stock Exchange open at 6.30. So basically anytime between 6.30 and 6.35, you guys can take this entry. Um, once market is open right here, you can see I have it started at 6.30. This is the breakout we took this morning. Uh, the first step you're going to do is you're going to look for the bias. This isn't required, but this is highly recommended um, because you want to be trading in the direction where you know price is going to be going, right? So once you've confirmed the bias, which again is optional, but highly recommended, you're going to go ahead and confirm the direction of momentum. This is the most important part so that you know which direction to be trading in um, as the market opens. So in order to do that, you're going to use the K2 momentum indicator and look at the most recent signal. As you can see right here, we have a bullish buy signal. Uh, with that said, you're going to be looking only for buys at this point. The next step, you're going to confirm a strong candle in the direction of momentum. So since we're looking for buys here, you're looking for a strong green candle. And a strong green candle is basically going to be a green candle with little to no wick on the top side. Um, as you can see right here, there's a big body, small wick on top. So with that said, this is going to fit the requirement. So first step, we look for the momentum. Right here, we have bullish momentum. Second, we're going to look for a strong green candle after open. Uh, once these are all met, you're going to go ahead and take a buy position right here as soon as the candle closes. And then you're going to set your TP stop loss to 500 pips. With that said, you let the trade run. And there you go, full TP. And this is the trade that we took today on the live session. So if you guys want to go back and watch this done live, just go back and watch the live session from uh, Thursday, April 14th, and you can see this all done live. K2, yeah, we headed for the top now. K2, yeah, we call it with a drop down.